Okay, so um, if the fourth root of x to the 14th power, um, no? So if we're going to go and do this, again, as I talked about, guys, we can write out x to the 14th. I can write this out. There's no problem with this to 14 times, x times x. But it's kind of like a waste of your time to do this every single time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Right? You guys can do that. There's nothing wrong with it. But what if I gave you x to the 144th? You're not going to want to write out 144 of them, correct? Right? So I'm not making you do that. I never did. I showed you, I taught you originally with smaller numbers so that you could see you group in four terms. Right? So you guys can have an understanding of the fourth root. But the next way that I also showed you guys is you can also take, I can rewrite this. I know that the fourth root of x times x times x times x equals x. I also know that the fourth root of x to the fourth equals x. So rather than writing it all x's, I can also, how many of x to the fourth can I rewrite this as? So I can rewrite the fourth root as x to the fourth times x to the fourth times x to the fourth, and then plus times x squared. Why do I have to include the x squared? Because remember, when you multiply exponents, you add the powers. 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 2 equals x to the 14th. Does everybody see that? So the fourth root of 4x's, or the fourth root of x to the fourth, is just x. 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 And then what are you left with under the radical? x squared. X squared. So therefore, I rewrite fourth root of x squared. So my final answer is x cubed, fourth root of x squared. Okay, questions? Un pregunta, por favor. Okay.